Good morning everyone. Now my camera will be a little bit shaky because it's staying on the top of the canvas at this moment. But before I start record video, I want to show you something. You see, because maybe some of you will ask what is going on, why why this threads hanging like this, short tails you see in here. And I can zoom even a little bit more close now to show you what is going on in here. Let me move camera around. You see those little pieces I have in here. So if you are wondering later what this is, it's my ends and some of the starts. Because this canvas is really tough to go through with my needle, which is not sharp at all. It's like a flat cut nose needle. I do differently a little bit for right now and I will show you because I have in here a needle that I already finished in this few of the stitches. Just, just bear with me. It's very shaky for now. But I have in here, okay, we need to get close. Not this close. All right. You should see now. All right. So I'm making my stitches in here and my needle, it's the thread pretty short already so I will create one more last stitch okay I will make it one more stitch and then because I cannot flip my camera I mean uh, screen on the other side it's a long way plus my camera staying on the top Plus, my needle are very, very flat, so it doesn't go through, you cannot wave, because the paint uh, sunk in very hard to the canvas. So what I do, I finish my regular stitch, and then I will exit in here, somewhere, somewhere in here, you see, my stitch in here, last stitch in here, I will exit in here, that's it. I pull out my thread and now I have this long well I can make them a little bit shorter for now so they are not so long not on my way kind of I can trim them a little bit and then later when I will stitch okay I was stitching all this area that I want to create today with you uh, some more so I finish kind of especially in the corner so let me just get my thoughts together here so later on when I will stitch like right now with the orange for example color which will be this color we will stitch today this thread because I finish was my stitch was in here I exit in here so it will over stitch on another side and then I will trim this thread right by the canvas in here and that's it. And that's how I can start as well. Plus I show you before some few starts how I do it. And so I did stitching. You can see that I did stitching all the way around on the bottom in here. and two colors but the corner in here that I want to get to you let me show you this corner okay it's gonna be crooked right now I will readjust my camera but I don't want to stop video because I have so little time before somebody arrive in a house or whatever so I'm just gonna lift one leg of the tray but to kind of even up just like that and you can tell that this corner is fully done with three different colors. Yes, three colors in here. And now we're just going to over stitch all this orange. And in here I have one more thread hanging like this. So my orange color will over. And let me see where is the last stitch was. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like right in here. So when I stitch orange spot in here, it will over stitch on the back my thread to go from here to here and it's going to be secure then I can cut up front so nothing done on the back of the canvas everything will be go up front now my lovely lovely lady 
thank you so much who pay attention to my stitching okay while i'm chit chatting i'm going to separate my threads so i can put them into my needle okay last night i chopped my nails short short and i feel now like almost like naked without nails but it will be awesome to stitch i like to stitch with shorter nails better and i just put cheap dollar store shiny nail polish to cover my damage now for now damaged nails you know because when you do gel nails you kind of file your nail all nail to take a sc scrape the top layer so this way my my hands will look a little bit better on camera hopefully the nail polish will survive at least for one or two video because also I want to create video my collection of tigers that I keep talking I just pull out of my world one more tiger that was up there hanging and now I'm thinking that I, I have a few of the tigers finished diamond painting I might will dig those as well so I will have parade of everything diamond painting of tigers cross stitch of tigers finished diamond painting so it's going to be like a mix and match video so all right uh-huh i still don't like because it's shaking okay i have to totally put my camera on the table i will have to readjust probably but first i want to tell huge thank and i will go right now to my youtube channel because i really want to remember name bear with me bear with me bear with me i'm opening my channel and i will go to my cross stitch wednesday uh, where, where, where? is that the one stitch with okay here it is let me pause it before i start talking here loud okay i'm just going to get to the comment right now i know i should prepare this earlier but uh it's okay okay here it is janice bon i hope i pronounce your name right janice b-o-a-n bon she said <laughs> uh thank you so much for european town i'm stitching alone on 14 count and enjoy it very much hey at time 25 minutes exactly 25 minutes i saw stitch being made in wrong direction just an fyi i like to watch how much you make stitches sometimes and just happen to catch thank you for sharing all you do wow janice thank you so very much i did mistake i went to the time frame that you pointed out and i saw my boo boo that i made it's somewhere somewhere in here let me find it and i said to you before oh right in here let me try to zoom in and see if you can see it. because i was chit chatting and i totally messed up can you see moving forward oh i know how my canvas was stable before because i put book under my canvas so the leg wouldn't be wiggle here here it is this is the right direction this is the wrong direction and of course now if i would work next to it with this color i would spot this stitch i would catch up on that one but i absolutely cannot stand stitch made in the wrong direction so janice big kudos to you thank you so very much and you know what i will fix this right now and if you're a beginner i'm gonna show you the easy way to fix so you don't have to worry about this stitch and i will fix it with this thread what i will do same as i finish my thread in here wait let me put the book under my canvas so my tray but stop shaking i will just like um, put i have a 
pretty book like that see nice and I'm just going to stick like right under my canvas so I might have to lift my canvas a little bit with the tripod together so hold on we are going we are going for a ride a little bit I need to make it more I need to make it more stable I will hide my book under my canvas there so now we will have readjustment a little bit and then now because I have a book up there preparation preparation I need to readjust my tripod leg again this would be straight probably and then there I need to move my canvas more to the edge of the table for a comfort for me to stitch and now I will stitch this area so I would start normally from this corner of course and go but to make this stitch go away I'm just gonna show you right now what I do so what I will do I will literally start um, I can start from here I can start from here I will start from this corner right in here from the front of my thread push the other one tail away and I exit to the front okay where is the hole I need a magnifier okay hold on there I will do in here I will bring my lamp to me let's see can we do a slide can we do a slide please Ooh, shadow 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 hmm. dark a little bit okay I will have to use a light today I'm sorry doesn't work very well today okay so what I will do I will pull out I might have to bring you more even over my canvas as much as possible as much as possible so let's go for a ride a little bit more forward and I will crank my camera more like this is this will make it more straight for you to watch I don't know so let's see I will do like this and I can leave this tail a little bit longer shorter doesn't matter just a shorter maybe and I will do here my regular stitch right in here because that's the 65 number and DMC code it's a 5200 I believe oh, stuck on my corner stuck on my corner just a minute why this thread I lost my thread never mind we will start again really what is going on today okay I will start again quickly because my canvas st stuck on the edge of the frame so I will pull it forward towards in here okay we're good now and I will stitch my first stitch in here as I would do in the right direction of course And then I will go to this stitch that I created wrong. Okay, I will go. I will overlap. Because it's a light colors and they all kind of mixing up in here. So it will look a little bit maybe like a blend. But the point of this is it's overlapping. You're not going to probably even see it, but now it's going to be point direction the proper way. And why is it so far? I can't believe, I can't believe why I cannot zoom close enough. So do you see now that it's showing me in the right direction? So this is little tiny help and little trick for you 
just so you don't have to worry if you create that stitch in the wrong direction so you just find coordinate and thread or even just just go for it it doesn't matter it's a, such a big canvas so many colors blend in with each other in here that nobody know nobody will know you just don't tell anybody okay you don't tell anybody that you did wrong and that's it and now what I will do in here I will try to make sure I over stitch my thread in here that is go from this corner to here so I'm gonna hold it tight in here with my fingers so it's kind of like uh, not hanging on the bottom up there and every time I stitch go close to it I will make sure I will kind of catch the thread on the bottom it will go nowhere so yes I am so thrilled that Janice you were paying attention to my stitching awesome awesome catch you catch my boo-boo yes thank you <laughs> and I do appreciate that you even pointed out on a time so it was very easy for me to find it happened to me a few times like this and then I stitch next color to it and I was like oh yeah I see that and one time I did on my poppy flowers that I'm stitching also on a 11 count Ada and it, that was like a big patch of color I didn't have any unstitched threads I, I mean squares I think next to it so I just literally retread my thread and went to fix that one little tiny thing because there's no other way to fix it if you already stitch big area and you cannot fix it like I just did now so you have to go with the same thread and just over stitch one more time the one little thing that missing so this two days or even three days now I'm working so hard on my diamond paint and organizing and before I started this video I am actually punching holes as we speak you know like right before I start to record this video I'm punching holes on my longer canvases and I put them on a wall with my rest of whatever it's fit up there and the other one will go into different organizers that I have same sizes same type of canvases and it's going to be organized out of my way so I'm really satisfied so far what I'm doing and lots of you love this kind of videos it will be in a future video part 3 well which is kind of I have already 3 video of this which is one from last year that I already um, posted right and then this two videos but I want to create one more video of when I totally finish and reorganize maybe I will have a better kind of more room I still still working so as you can see now from here to here it's over stitched oh I don't know if I want to flip my camera I mean canvas right now and show you maybe I'll show you on the end to, to show you how this will look like but now I don't need this thread I know it's already secure so I will pull it kind of up and snap it so when I snap the little tail will bounce back into the hole you want you you can even push a little bit with your needle down it's gone that's it you're not gonna see it and that's the easiest way how to start and how to finish if you have a little bit difficult canvas to work on as like this one it's lots of paint on it and it's hard to go through those threads especially with the needle when it's not sharp at all it's very very like cut point but I love to stitch with this needle right so now we are going to continue and I give you some updates that is actually diamond painted related if you on my Facebook group I posted last night link 
the tiger that I'm diamond painting with you from GBFKE and I told you that um, they not in stock anymore they out of the I couldn't even find on Amazon I was looking on Aliexpress could not find it so I emailed back and forth with GBFKE they sent me some different tiger which I told you that is like a very similar tiger but different background and I told them yes that is pretty tiger and I talked to you about the tiger but is it possible to bring tiger that I'm diamond paint already on it because it was in your store before because it would be nice to actually have this canvas because it is beautiful so the owner emailed to me last night and he said that they found this canvas in factory and they put back in stock in the store same size 45 by 85 no what is that let me check my canvas in here quickly size quickly size was a 45 by 85 yes so that's exactly same canvas I posted link on Facebook group and I added link to one of my whip and chat tiger video uh, just one video for now I think so next time when we work on that canvas uh, I will provide you with the link because now I'm happy the tiger in store the only thing uh, I don't know if this tiger will be exactly exactly same quality diamonds or not so they will send me canvas because I'm waiting um, a package from them they asked me to pick some more product from the store so they will ship me canvas as well together so I hopefully I can give you a good news that it will be the same one as I work on it uh, at least the image the safe so hopefully it's everything the same will be all right so that's the great news because lots of you like this tiger and it was like nowhere to find it but of course you can work on any tiger you wish and now um, see now when I'm stitching this way I will over stitch this little tail because it's go from here to there so I think so let me just tag a little bit more I'm trying to get them all in yeah I'm trying to get them in the same direction so that way you will remember your thread go from bottom to the top or if you do this sideways you have to kind of point to the same direction sideways so not like one here one here because you will not know where is the finish okay so we will eliminate those little tails so that's kind of like a little parking method before and after but it really worked for me in here and I'm glad so as I promise you I finish all these colors at least on one little corner so we can create big patch of this light color which is very nice threads to work with I like it kind of look weird right now because we see orange color peeking through but since canvas washed it will go nice and white and will we'll not see much okay so now I will hold this tail because I will have to push my needle right next to it kind of move to the side a little bit and one more stitch so yeah keep an eye on me see sometimes I'm making a wrong stitches sometimes I find when I wiggle back and forth zigzagging with a half stitch and then go close back sometimes I miss one stitch and not close then I stitch next to it all of a sudden I see it <laughs> then I have to go and restitch it okay I think I can chop this one as well now just make sure don't chop top of layer of your other threads that you already created how oh, rude my camera just stopped on me so after this 
I will be continue working on my diamond paint and organizing because it's all over my dining table right now as I am organizing yes yeah, so oh by the way today as you watching this video that's why I have a part two so you have a second part today you have two videos today just for in case you do not see yeah I posted my organizing diamonds and I think 15 minutes earlier than this one so that would be like uh, 5 45 I think and this one will be in 6 a.m. my time so what I will do in here I will slowly probably go this way because I still like to start from this corner so I'm just gonna wiggle sideways to go to my corner because I like to start from the beginning and that way I see where to go So what else news I have? Let's see. By the way, for those who are waiting your shipping from China, be very patient. Some of my packages stuck forever. Some just recently shipped out, which I ordered a long time ago. Because the facility was closed for a long time and was just a mostly people was working from home and on a factory or packing it was like a minimum people I guess was working so definitely was not enough working power to ship everything and the packaging goes slowly but be patient I wish you all the best I hope your package will arrive nice and safe with no damage Uh, and I think I I was asking one of my supplier uh, how they doing if they get back to work or not or still working from home and looks like they are back to normal now so we should have uh, shipment a little bit faster at this point because I just now like start receiving the tracking numbers so it's it's need a time to wait I love those who post pictures also of cross-stitch tigers. Cheers to you girls who go together with the year of tiger. And I will be working on one as well. Same one that Julie working on the little face tiger which is will be little canvas. Will be fast to finish. Hopefully I can finish until the end of the year or sooner so to have a chance to have the tiger on my wall hopefully I can finish quick and frame somehow by myself at home All right. very nice and sunny day today finally the snow stopped falling and my boys went to plow and salt last night so I was working all night to 5 o'clock in the morning I'm organizing my diamonds my craft room yeah I cannot sleep when my boys not home so we're not going to have now snow for a while hopefully that's what weathermen say and it's a nice sunny day probably cold but I didn't even go outside yet. Cannot wait to spring now. You know why I made a mistake on a wrong stitching? Because sometimes depends where my thread go the last closure or here or here so because I went close in here so I can start from here to do my first stitch so I will start from from the other side and that's why I messed up myself because sometimes I start from top to the bottom or I would go like for example here from the bottom to the top so obviously I confused myself 
and in a mix of chit chatting with you because I love to talk to you and that's what happened but that's not a big deal it's an easy fix and I so appreciate little tip and help that I did this mistake And if you did mistake on diamond painting, put the wrong diamond, if it's just like a one diamond, not big deal if you put on the wrong symbol. If you create lots of symbols in the same different color, in the wrong color, well, that can create a little bit problem <laughs> with the shade and whatever you're doing. So that would be, you have to kind of pull out diamonds. But if it's just a one diamond, just leave it. Nobody will know. Time from time I post my crafty thing on TikTok. If you on TikTok, find me, follow me. And if you have a account not private and you post in some stuff, I will follow you back. Uh, usually I don't follow uh, who have no post, like a zero post. So there's really nothing to follow because you did not create any post yet. But definitely if you post in as well, and your account is open to public I would love to follow you as well it's the fun platform you know something is not just for kids and very very adult people having a fun and blast post and some stuff it's sometimes it's fun So I appreciate all your comments on my Hyatt, my first time stitching, my Josephine Wall Virgo sign for Catherine. That image is big. Somebody asked me, but then I realized I never kind of mentioned size in my video. Now let's see if I remember. I believe it's 450 on 556 up stitches yeah I think that's the size and it's a uh, pretty sure it's a 90 colors yes and that is not the biggest one I think they have a bigger size of this canvas and one mini one smaller one so I think it's a three different sizes you can order love 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 this artist and I'm already anxious to see if I can start something else. I purchased some uh, more uh, files a few years back. It's on my computer, which I will uh, have some on my iPad as well. But I like to work with Cross Stitch Saga, so I need to see. I can get them into SXT files so I can stitch because I don't stitch with the pattern maker with everybody else uh, or as a pa pattern maker keeper or just to keep your um, progress or also you stitch and wipe is that's the program that you can stitch and wipe symbol like I do in cross stitch saga so if you need some more tips about cross stitch saga since I'm stitching right now I can give you uh, every time I will stitch my Hyatt I will give you some more tips or maybe create separate video about as much as I can because even I'm stitching I feel like I know a lot but there's there's lots of more up there to learn about them and if you decide to purchase it will come with one free pattern which was cat in my version now I think it's something different they always will give you one free design for you to kind of practice on it, and that's what I was practicing as a little cat sticking a paw into the fishing bowl little design so I was practicing on it and to make sure I um, don't mess up later on my big design so I was working and kind of take me for a while to figure out 
have to return my designs uh, symbols that I wiped accidentally because I did not know what I was doing and when I received this uh, when I purchased this app I immediately was looking what kind of design this sand and what what is going on so accidentally I touched there when my screen wasn't locked so it was showing me that I did some process stitching which I didn't so I was researching looking some tutorials to see how to fix it back so I don't have like a progress showing me stitch so finally after I figure out have to put my symbols back to the zero so it's a, again looking like a brand new design then I thought okay now I am ready to stitch my high yet because if I make mistake I know how to fix it now without making a more uh, mess so all right I will be leaving you right now and we will stitch with you more next Wednesday but of course we will stitch more in the meantime and diamond paint for now thank you so much for staying with me keep stitching so hopefully I will stitch this corner till next time you will see me have a good day everyone